Hey everybody, Dave Williamson back here for part two of the fabulous collection, the unveiling, the, I like to call it the unboxing or the reveal of another Redline collection. Been doing this for 30 years, really buying Redline collections. I think it's about 30. What is this? Night 2019 started this adventure in about, two, about 1988. So it's been over 30 years and uh, started my website in 91 and just been going at it ever since. So let's Without further ado, let's get on with the cars. Now, this is not the best car in the lot, as you can tell. This is the worst car in the lot, but look at that baby. It's been painted over in a nice lavender paint. But you know what? That was a Hong Kong purple silhouette, and that those are kind of hard to find, but that one is not something anybody's going to be looking for now. And while we're at it, let's look at this. 4J car. Oh, my goodness. The paint has been taken off of this fella. And that was a U.S. green. And now, I don't even know how they got it to be like that. Maybe it was a neighbor did that. I don't know. What's this one, though? Light my firebird. Oh, the blue color was... Oh, wait a minute. It was red originally. And they took some uh, deep dish wheels and put on it. Did a little customizing. Painted the rear end black. Look at that. And the uh, hood. Let's see. It's all still there. I guess you could take this apart. And redo it, make it into a new car again, because there are people that do uh, restorations on old Hot Wheels. But there are some good cars in this case. Let's take a look here. What do we got? We got a chaparral. Got a little bit of sticker on there. Need to get that off. Put a new new uh, put a new chaparral wing on there. And it actually, won't be too bad of a car. I don't know why there's tape on here. What kind of tape is that anyway? It looks like. You know, I think that's the kind of tape they put on your leg when you are when you injure it or wrap up your hand before you put it in your baseball glove. I think it's that kind of tape. Real sticky stuff. We'll get that all cleaned off there and put a spoiler on there. It'd be a nice little car. What the heck? All right, what's next? What's next? Next is a yellow, hmm, a yellow seasider. No boat, but it is a yellow seasider, and it's not really bad looking. Look at that. It's got nice wheels. Got a good patina. Not too much toning, a little bit. And for yellow, it's actually pretty darn good. There it is, yellow seasider from 1970. 1970. And now here's something that's kind of a disappointment. Boss Hoss, but look at that. Oh, dear. White interior, green, very shiny. That was a really nice car at one time. Looks like the wheels are still in good shape. Green Boss Hoss. There it is. Green Boss Hoss. Somebody needs to repaint that one, I think. Or... Just put some new side numbers on it and stripes and call it good. There it is. Green Boss Haas. The Green Boss Haas. And this collection has another chaparral, which all collections do have tons of chaparrals. And there's the second one. And this collection also has lots of buttons. Lots of buttons. Buttons, buttons. Love these buttons. And this collection has a mongoose. A really nice mongoose. Pretty nice. Very nice, actually. Yeah, it's good mongoose. Wheels are worn a little bit, but look at it. It's got all five stickers on it, and they're almost complete. And that is the mongoose. And there is a snake, which is even harder to get than a mongoose. Always harder to get. And here we go. Snake with no side stickers. There it is. But it is a snake. Now, I, I never sell these. Uh, what I do is I like to save these up and... Try to find cars that kind of match each other and then sell them as a set. Sell them as a set. Here we got a white one in here. Oh, Camaro button. Those are hard to get. Nice Camaro button. Very clean. I know one of my sets is missing a Camaro button. Oh, there they come. Snake 2. Pretty nice. Snake 2. Snake 2. Look at that. It's got the parts in there. Got a shiny motor. Good wheels. That's a nice car. Snake 2. Snake 2. Very nice. What's that? Oh, oh my goodness. Quick look, quick look. You see anything in there? Hmm, might be interesting. Hmm. Well, there's some nice cars in there. And unfortunately, some of the really nice cars in this collection got a little wear on them. But check this out Ice Blue 68 Mustang Ice Blue. I don't even have one of these. This color. Look at how this color is. This color, yeah, ice blue. Look at that wear, boy. Ooh, we've got some wear here and there. 
But man, oh man, look at that color. Needs a wheel swap. Does need a wheel swap. But there are some other cars on here that make perfect donors. For a decent set of wheels on that ice blue, put it in the display case. Color good right there. I'll put it on eBay. I'll probably put this one on eBay because the guys go crazy nuts for these over there. But I might want to keep it for a while. What's this? Aqua Firebird. Aqua Firebird Hong Kong. Beautiful shape. Beautiful shape, Aqua Hong Kong. And the next one, Python. This one with a groovy flower decal on top. Python. No, it's not a cheetah, it's a Python. A little wear on that one for sure. A little wear on that one. And the next one up is an orange custom Volkswagen, also with groovy decals on it. Orange Volkswagen, very popular. Orange and the gold. You know, actually, I see a lot of Ford J cars in gold. This one's actually really nice. It's got all the original stickers on it. Oh, look at that shiny motor. Whew, that is beautiful. You can look at that all day. That's so pretty. That's a nice one. That really is a nice one. It's a little Tony on the back there, but man, that front is that front is gold. Wow, really gold. Really shiny, man. You know. I want to go back in time and see all these cars when they were new because they were bright. They were bright. And here's just like my future back then was bright. Here we go. More groovy decals and more pretty. There's some very pretty cars in this collection. And of course, they always look better in the light under the camera. But they're actually pretty nice. And here we have Beatnik Bandit. Beatnik Bandit, this time Hong Kong Beatnik Bandit green with more groovy groovy decals so how many groovy decals do we have now look at that these are the groovy decal cars yay and one more look at that look at all those groovy decals right there that is a hoot that is a very much a fantastic hoot and what's this silhouette in lime a lime silhouette oh yeah oh crack wheel darn shoot these wheels look at these wheels you know what i'm thinking right you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking this car these wheels look at that oh yeah that's gonna be nice that is gonna be nice wow we i don't even have an ice blue mustang so that's so cool and if that wasn't good enough how about ice blue corvette crazy i know it's got a little decals and stuff on it but look at that ice blue it's got a little tape on here it needs to come off i think that will come off this again is that sticky like athletic tape i think it'll come off Be careful though i won't try to take those decals off necessarily because those a lot of times you try to take these off and you end up going right through the paint try my nail here yeah yeah you know you can sometimes scrape them off but you're liable to um, take the paint off. Make a nice hole in the paint. You don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get all that junk off there. And that'll be a nice car. Look at that. Ice blue. Two ice blue. That is crazy. You never find that in a collection of ice blue. That many ice blues as the buttons keep falling to the ground. And here is a custom Barracuda. Custom Barracuda, that's 68s, you know. They were around and the Hong Kong ones were really super early. So these are the cars that get all the wear. They're always in bad shape. Not always, mostly. Those are more buttons falling down. And here is an Eldorado, Eldorado in a blue. Good color. Quite a few cars in here that have really good color. A little bit of wear, but really good color. And several ice wheels. So that's actually a pretty good Eldorado. The hood's on there real good. Pretty nice car, actually. Look at that, Eldorado. You never know exactly what angle to take a picture of a Eldorado. Does it look good like that? Like this? Like that? Like that? What do you think? Like that? Mm, Eldorado. So pretty. 12 more cars, and that will be all. This is part two of the collection video. Let's find the last 12. In the home stretch with the last 12, we got a Lotus Turbine in blue. This one's an icy light blue. It's not an ice blue. 
it's an icy light blue maybe just an icy blue or is it just a light blue I don't know but it looks good and it's got nice wheels and it's got really nicely placed decals which is a real plus I really think that is a plus Shelby turbine also in there Shelby turbine this one appears to have some corrosion in that pit down there and up here is worn but look at those beautiful wheels sad thing about Shelby turbine is these big old wheels from Hong Kong don't really go on a lot of cars you could put them because most of the car, cars that have these big wheels are US cars actually these two on this side do kind of look like US wheels so this one's more Hong Kong ish these two these two are more US ish this one in particular hand painted on the US and stamped chrome on the Hong Kong but that's pretty cool and this last 12 also features some of this 69 fantasy cars like the splitting image this one aqua just like one I sold recently aqua splitting image and also a Torero in olive olive's a tough cover yeah no it's not a cover it's a tough color for the Torero Torero which is spelled T-O-R-E-R-O Torero 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 People have trouble with that one, and it sounds like I'm having trouble with it. And, oh my goodness, EMPI, what is that? Another big old decal on a gold turbo fire and another cracked wheel. Come on now, cracked wheels, we don't need that. Uh, just your average shape, gold turbo fire, turbo fire. And one more in the Fantasy Series, come on out. Come on out, Mr. Twin Mill in blue. There she is. Kelly decals this is actually real nice with the blue it's got good color to it a little wear I do love the blue you know green red and blue on the twin mill look really really nice that's I don't have any green hmm I don't have any green or red on that but there's that blue twin mill a pretty darn nice car now there's also in the last 12 we got six cars to go is a red Look at that glossy red Mercedes 280 brown interior. One wheel has no chrome. I'm actually going to get a hold of, I'm getting uh, together with uh, Tony from Bright Vision Wheels. He says he will re-chrome an original wheel. I'm wondering how that's going to look. I hope it looks nice. It'd be nice to have an original wheel that's re-chromed rather than a new wheel, which is fine on some cars. It's fine. For the lower end cars, you can put new wheels on them, they look real nice. And Rolls Royce, gray enamel, typical pitting of the paint on the back, and the gray Rolls Royce. Very common, very common car, but good for racing. Let's see how fast it goes. Very fast, very, very fast. Now, the last four cars in the collection are from 1971. The first one of them being an AMX2 in the yellow, yellow color with some decals or actually stickers from the sticker rounds, which was a set of stickers that you could buy to add to your Hot Wheels. AMX2. And the next one up, oh, well, let's go with this one. Ice tea, ice tea. Come on, roof. There's the roof. Raise the roof. I think it's been glued on, has it? Oh, yeah, one time it was glued on, it looks like. And here's the yellow iced tea. Let's see if it still goes on. It's had a little wear to it. Oh, I see one side of the pen is broken off. So there you are. Yellow iced tea in average shape. Not bad. Looks better this way. Yellow iced tea. And the final two cars. Two cars final. Let's take a look. Come on out. Let's see how she is. And what is she? A red boss hoss. Red boss hoss. Yay. Red is a tough color to get on the boss hoss. And there she is. And it is in red. It's got light wear on it. It's actually not too bad. A couple of new numbers on there look good. The wheels are very good. Three of the wheels are excellent. Almost like new. Beautiful. And the very last car that I'm going to show you in this collection, and here it is, here it comes, whoa, Olds 442. This one originally had some stripes on it. I no longer do. 
But look at that. Nice chrome and nice paint. Let's look for some wear. Yeah, you got a little nose chipping, not bad. And she's pretty fine, pretty fine little 442. Windshields in good place, good order. And I'll take a little, uh, probably take a little lighter fluid and see if I can get some of that residue off. A lot of times the residue does not come off the 442s. They just do not like to let that off for some reason. Take that spoiler off the back there, pull that out. And uh, I better put that back in before I lose it, to clean that off, and that'll be good to go. It'd be nice if you can get all that off. That'd be really nice. Anyway, the 442 is one of the most popular cars of all time. Definitely one of the most expensive overall of the original Red Lines. And there she is, 442, and the last of the 72 car case. So thanks for joining me. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. That means you like the video. And uh, we don't want any of that thumbs down business. We just don't need that. And uh, be sure to subscribe because I've got lots of videos. going to make a lot more, especially when I'm in a good mood and ready to open collections or talk about Hot Wheels. i got a lot more topics to cover if I just had a little more time. If I had some help, that'd be great. But anyway, it's just me out there, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector, doing it all for you at ToyCarCollector.com and also RedlineCollector.com where I feature pictures and videos and things of Redline Hot Wheels. First five years, 1968 to 1972, uh, some 73 as well. All right, thanks for joining me, folks, and you have a great day.